Hello, it's Ivan and I'm going to do a real quick video for you. I've had uh, quite a few questions regarding when you put together an air manager panel, how to actually find the individual instruments. It's going to be very brief, very quickly. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to share my screen here. And I already have a, uh, this is just a generic 172. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to start a new whole new panel. And what I'm going to do is add just a couple of instruments to show you how I'm searching. Uh, an, an update just came out for Air Manager and it came with something kind of neat. So I'll show you what that is. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is click on panel. And here I get a collection of panels. So here you could pick, these are pre-made and these are some that you can pick from. And what I'm going to do is just pick the blank panel. Double click it. And then you see down here it's back or add. I'm going to hit add. And now I have a blank panel. So here's where people seem to have some problems. And that is searching for the instruments. And sometimes they don't populate in the list when you do the search and, I, and I, I'm not sure why but I have one theory so now let's add an instrument so I'm going to click on instrument here's panel device I'm going to click on instrument and this should show a list in fact it has a search that I'd previously done let me clear that search bar out and here over here you can all or limit it to a certain uh, sim, be it Microsoft Flight Simulator or X-Plane or Prepared or FSX, what have you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look for a Garmin panel. So the Gar or not a Garmin panel, but the Garmin uh, G1000. So I'm just going to type in Garmin, and you can see that it already starts to list things out. Now right here, very important, this area right here will filter out some things and maybe what's happening is depending on your search history because it kind of saves where your last search was so if I close out of here for example but come back later to add an instrument and type in Garmin again you see how stuff's not showing up because it's still defaulting to the Cirrus uh, SR22 and so that may be what's happening. That may be uh, filtering out what you're looking for. So make sure that you're on all. And then, and then it should come up. It should be pretty easy to find. It's also possible that over here, like if I just click on this, now only the ones compatible with Microsoft Flight Sim will show. Uh, maybe that's part of the problem too. I typically leave this to all. But here's how you do the search. And I think this filter is what's throwing people off. I've gotten several messages and comments that when they went to do the search, the items weren't showing up. And here's what's interesting that I just noticed today. There is now a Garmin G1000 um, NXI. And so I just noticed this. I don't know if it came out with uh, the, the last uh, update or a previous one or when this showed up, but it now shows up. I have not had a chance to test it. I'll go ahead and add it. You just double click on it and then there you go. Um, and again, you have to come down and set your parameters, um, which display you want it to show up. If you have a multi-monitor display, um, if you want it locked, always on top or click through. If you want your knobster uh, disabled or enabled, and I usually, of course, enable it. I keep it transparent so the uh, the popped out display will show up and if I click on this and then click on that I can come down and look at this it says select logo and you can pick which logo how cool is that I'm, I'm just seeing this literally for the first time I've not seen this and so again the previous one somebody had ported over from X-Plane so it said X-Plane on it um, and then you can pick whether it's the, uh, the PFD, the primary flight display, or the multifunction display, PFD or MFD. 
and so that's important too. So I'll click on all of that and come back up here and and then there you are. So hopefully this will be helpful to you. Uh, again, if you're still having problems with the search function, uh, make a comment or ask your question below and hopefully either myself or somebody in the community will get to you. Otherwise, you guys have a great day.